Now, I don't know about you guys, but Snow White 2024 could very well be an ironic movie by Disney, and specifically the reason behind that is, of course, how it all started with Snow White. It could very well all end with Snow White in 2024, as far as the movies go. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into the subject, shall we? Now, we know that Bob Iger and the board, they are still standing their ground and moving forward with live action adaptations of you know, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, as well as Lilo and Stitch. We also have The Sword in the Stone. Those are the three major ones that they're looking to adapt into live action. We also have Sleeping Beauty, that's a big option, and they also want to expand The Lion King into becoming a big franchise with a Scar spin-off film that's being discussed lightly behind closed doors on top of what's going on with Mufasa. So, with that being said and all, one major development surrounding the Snow White 2024 film has a lot to do with updates centering on the firings surrounding this film and exactly how it created a big domino effect where a lot of people have been getting very angry behind the scenes and everything ranging from the actors of the Seven Dwarfs to the marketing teams to the trailer companies. We're going to be talking about it all and exactly what's going on with this movie and why it really is production hell. I've been talking about this for a while now. I believe that Snow White is the biggest production hell for Disney in the last 15 years plus. So let's get into this, shall we? Now we know that everything related to this is that with the Snow White backlash getting worse for Disney and Bob Iger, one major development has much to do with their damage control for the upcoming Snow White movie. Now currently the Disney higher-ups are moving ahead with a strategy to fire the entire marketing team that was hired a while ago for Snow White 2024 since they reportedly weren't doing their best job on editing the Seven Dwarves in a specific way for the promos to differ them from the final film. The plan by Disney was to either reduce the Seven Dwarfs down to a bare minimum for things like posters, banners, standees, and even the trailers, which is why Disney finalized their plan to fire both the marketing team and two trailer companies that were working on the official trailer that's set to still debut during the first or second week of September. The problem is that neither the marketing team or the trailer companies were reportedly following Disney's specific instructions on hiding or redesigning the dwarfs for the posters, etc. to the point that they were laid off, and new teams are now in the hiring process to handle this effectively. Now, the redesigns of the Seven Dwarfs for the promo material is still unclear how significant the changes will be. However, it is reportedly used to tame and lower the backlash from the fans. Now, there's more to all of this. We'll discuss this in just a second. Let me just say one thing here real quick is that any kind of redesigns to these characters that you do, I don't care if it's art, posters, banners like we just discussed, it's not going to change a thing. It's not going to tame the backlash. It's not going to water down people's reactions. There's no way you're going to escape this unless you just delete these characters completely or you just do a simple recast. That's the only thing that you can really do. And in fact, you know what? This whole movie just deserves to be shut down and locked in a vault somewhere like Brendan Fraser said about the Batgirl movie. You know, I know when he went on and love him or hate him, when he went on Howard Stern, Brendan Fraser did say that Batgirl is indeed locked in a vault somewhere. He knows nothing about what's happening with that movie or if it will ever even see the light of day. All right, so Brendan has come forward with that before in the past, a couple of months ago. And I think the same exact thing should apply here. There's no excuse. If Batgirl can do it, they can do it here too with Snow White. Now, here lies the problem, is that Disney got so extreme to the point where they finalized these plans to fire the marketing team, to fire the two trailer companies, to have another company handle the official trailer. And we talked about this before in the past, if, if you guys did not know. Um, they do hire these companies that take care of the trailers and or the teasers. A lot of studios do that. And what's interesting though, has a lot to do with what they are trying to do with the Seven Dwarfs in the promos, all right, for the marketing teams and how 
they hired new ones that are going to effectively redesign them for that type of material, which I think is a little embarrassing. In fact, I think it's quite very much embarrassing because it's going to be misleading. If they're going to look different on things like posters and banners and then look different in the movie, that's misleading material without a doubt. But moving onwards here, Bob Iger and the board are currently attempting to do anything possible to reverse the negatives of this movie ahead of its release, as they refuse to recast the seven characters now called the Magical Creatures. Even the seven actors who played the dwarves in this film are reportedly seriously angered over Disney's attempt of limiting, hiding, and redesigning the characters after firing the previous teams and rehiring new ones that they played in the upcoming promo material. Disney is also looking for another solution to somehow do some tweaking to them using CGI. However, the plan is to change some of the clothing of the dwarfs using CGI. Now, similar to how Superman's cape in some films was CGI as well, they're looking to do something like that to be specific. They are looking to either alter, remove, or add in new styles for the characters to differentiate what was seen in those leaked images and or photographs for the on location set in the middle of nowhere. So here's the other problem with this, is that the funding for CGI work on clothing and to make it effective from start to finish of the film, that would be costly. And not only costly, but that's tedious work. I don't see it happening, I don't see them going through with that, but they are looking into it and they are looking at it as a potential option right now that they are embracing and trying to pursue. I think they should just leave it alone, leave it the way it is because the damage is done already. There's no reason to put any more energy into this movie as is. The only way to resolve your issues, Disney, is to just cancel this film. So we know that Bob Iger and the board, they're very stubborn, you know, in nature. They don't want to recast, but they want to fix this movie. They're not realizing the bigger picture here, right? They don't realize that so many people out there are offended over what they did to the Seven Dwarfs, including people with dwarfism. You know, people like Jason Acuna, who was very, you know, professional about it, by the way, when he spoke to TMZ, but he did say that it's a bad thing. You know, he said that it's a bad thing. They should really just take their losses and just recast. That's it. Simple. Simply put. So I would like to really say something here is that I think that Disney really needs to cut it out with these live action remakes and perhaps if they want to embrace maybe animated movies that are based on the original, you know, hand animated movies, you know, way back when then do it that way if you want to. Like, give it the Shrek style. You know, that CG animated style based on the originals if you want to go that route. This way, you know, you don't have to do these weird, you know, uh, iterations of the characters where, you know, maybe it has to be a reimagining or something like that and you can just do it in a very, you know, accurate representation way, right? So. That's my take on things, guys. I would love to hear what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time.